Hello and welcome back to part two of Dream Deals. Now on today's show we're here at the research and development unit of one of the world's biggest car manufacturers, that's Ford. Now so far in the show we've seen some of the cars that were made for the masses, but now we're going to take a look at some of the cars that were made for fun. <clears throat> Apparently that should be sport. Although the company was formed in 1903, Henry Ford's first race car debuted two years earlier at Gross Point, Michigan, USA. It was from this maiden victory that Henry gained enough money to set the company up two years later. Since that debut victory, Ford have gone on to win 175 Grand Prix, 13 F1 World Driver Championships, 11 Indy 500 winners, 11 Karts Championships, 3 World Touring Car titles and 37 WRC victories. And it was as a result of the company's exploits in the World Rally Championships that these two Rally Sports, or RSs, were made. Now, even though these two RSs are based on very average cars, the Escort and the Sierra, get them out on the open road and you'll soon discover that they are anything but average. Even before the arrival of the Sierra and Escort Cosworths, Ford had a very distinguished rally career with cars like the Lotus Cortina and Escort RS 1600s and Mexicos, but it was the launch of these two cars that really captured the hearts and minds of enthusiasts. The appeal of the Sierra was obvious. In a straight line sprint, it could outrun a Porsche 928 up to 60, and it could even give a Ferrari Testarossa a run for its money up to 100. And once you've had your fun in here, there's room for all of the family or taking your mates to the football. So a truly practical car. And as if that wasn't enough, the best thing was that it was 15 grand cheaper than a BMW M5. Now the Sierra RS Cosworth was an amazing machine for its time. You've got to remember it had 200 brake horsepower, went from 0 to 60 in about 6.7 seconds. And it had supercar challenging performance, all for just over £15,000. Now that incredible 200 brake horsepower came from a, a brilliant engine that was highly tuned. It was only a two litre, four cylinder, double overhead cam engine but it meant that it was tuned so highly that you could get 200 brake horsepower. The British touring car engines, which had the similar engine, were tuned to 400 brake horsepower. Now that would have been ridiculous, because this car has got bags of power. Now this car's warmed up a little bit. It claims it can do 0 to 60 in 6.8 seconds, so uh, let's give it some. No problem at all. That's incredible acceleration. All in all, an incredible car for its time. And remember, only 15 and a half thousand pounds. And it had performance to match cars that were three, four times as much money for the time. So the purists didn't care. If you had a Sierra Cosworth, you could take them on and very often beat them. Absolutely amazing. Sadly, time caught up with the Sierra Cosworth, and in 1990, production ended. But with proven success both on and off the track, the Sierra Cosworth had proved to be one of the best value performance cars of all time. But like a phoenix rising from the ashes, the name of Cosworth was to reappear. Only this time it was to be smaller, more powerful, and if possible, even more desirable. Although the Escort had been taking part in the World Rally Championship since 1990, this road-going version only went on sale in the spring of 1992. In standard trim, its two-litre turbocharged engine put out an impressive 237 brake horsepower. But it was the works rally cars that really impressed, as they could develop anything up to 400 horsepower. Now, the Escort RS Cosworth is one of those cars that you either love or hate. The styling is so in your face, it's virtually there, with its massive rear spoiler. It's got a two-litre, four-cylinder turbocharged engine with a massive turbocharger, and it'll get the car from 0 to 60 in about 6.8 seconds, which really is mind-boggling for a Ford Escort. It'll do about 140 miles per hour, top whack, now, like other performance Fords, you really do have to remember that you're essentially in a Ford Escort, so all of the plastics are bound that you would get in a standard Ford Escort, and it really is quite cheap. But that's the whole beauty of the car. It's cheap and powerful and very, 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 very fast. 6.8 seconds in a Ford Escort. 
you wonder whether the chassis was up to it, but it is. It's a little rattly and a little shaky. Well, that's probably just to do with the cabin. The actual chassis with its four-wheel drive is absolutely fantastic. Now, that's where this car comes into its own, in its second gear pulling power. You're just idling along, drop it into second, put your foot down, and the car fare takes off. With that four-wheel drive system gripping the road, it has incredible amounts of grip. Even here on the wet test track, the car is gripping absolutely brilliantly. It's gripping me. Crikey. Now, despite the obvious talents and charms of the Escort Cosworth, spiralling insurance premiums restricted sales, and in 1995, Ford ended production. But during its short life, the car achieved a great deal. Not only did it win the famous Monte Carlo Rally and several other World Rally Championship events, it further cemented Ford's reputation for making sports and rally cars of note. Whilst it was the RS models that stole most of the limelight, it was the XR models that sold by the bucket load. With respectable rather than blistering performance, models like the Escort XR3i and Fiesta XR2i were the dream cars of wide boys and Essex girls everywhere. But it was this popularity that ultimately led to the brand's demise after 20 years. With rising insurance premiums, the people the cars were aimed at could simply no longer afford them. In 1994, the XR brand disappeared.